Fuck you, asshole. Guess what happened? None. And our gas man Jeff up and quit on us last week. He was kind of irreplaceable. Maybe I can track him down. Maybe, maybe definitely get on it fast. Word is he's built up his own little fortress somewhere behind the train station. It's you again? I mean, what are you doing here? Relax, relax. I don't work for Rice. That was a one-time job and it was all about protecting the tower. Look, I'm sorry. I mean it. Is that right? Look, everything I was doing, I was doing for Brecken. You can ask anyone in the tower if you don't believe me. So what do you got, Jafar? We've been picking up some of Rice's transmissions. One of his crews found something at the construction site and they got very excited. They didn't say what it was, but they referred to bringing down the entire tower in one shot. Someone's got to find out what it is, and either confiscate it or destroy it. Well, I'm someone. Congratulations. The job is yours. We'll be in touch. <clears throat> You want to try calming down long enough to tell me what's wrong? Yeah, sure. Let's try that. Calming down will work. Yeah, calming down will solve everything. Oh. No, walking away from you will solve everything. Okay, okay, hang on. I'm chill. I'm chill, bro. So, I make these flares for a rise, right? Wait, flares? Like, like signal flares? No, no, UV flares. Like flares that the night things can't stand because they put out this UV, which stands for ultraviolet, which is like kind of a science thing. I got it, UV flares, continue. There is no continue. My zinc is contaminated with fluorine, it's useless. Also, I'm out of turpentine, which isn't that hard to find. Except 
everything's hard to find right now. So when Rice's people come for their merchandise... Oh, is he using people now? I thought he only used hired psychopathic gorillas. What do you need to make these things? Just zinc and turpentine, bro. I got the rest. Worst part is everything I need is in the train yard warehouses. But a guy like me isn't going to last 10 seconds out there. Well, I'm surprised a guy like you's lasted that long in here. Oh, the, oh that's very funny. Ha ha, very funny, funny man. Look, maybe I'll get your supplies, but if I do, whatever you can make out of them, I take half. Half? No way! You're freaking nuts, bro! Look, you can give me half of something, or you can keep 100% of nothing. Half it is. It seems fair. Brecken, this is Crane. Do you copy? Brecken, do you copy? Shit. Jade, this is Crane. Do you copy? Crane, how much antisen did you get? Listen, Rice wanted me to... He's... Look, he screwed us, okay? I only got five vials. What? Damn it! That's only a few days' worth. Listen, Crane, we've got a situation here. There's been an outbreak on the 18th floor. Get back here ASAP, and don't lose any of that antizen. <clears throat> What's the point of the airdrops? Grace takes everything away. What's on your mind? Mr. Crane, are you familiar with a man named Vulcan Yasif Dahl? Vulcan Dahl? Yeah, of course. He owns Vulcan Petrol Engineering. He's the richest man in Haran. That's exactly right. And Mr. Dahl has need of your service. I didn't know he was still in the city. Most of his employees were evacuated, but his two chief engineers are still here in the slums. They're brothers. Twins, in fact. Tolga and Fatine. They've been working on a special project. It's highly confidential, and I'm afraid I can't discuss it. But I can assure you its importance is nearly beyond measure. Well, then I won't bother trying to measure it. The brothers are brilliant engineers, but they're also somewhat, uh, idiosyncratic. This, and the problems of operating in the current environment, have put them behind schedule. Mr. Dahl would like you to assist them to get the project back on track. You will be well compensated, as you can imagine. Doing what? Simply do as they ask. You'll only be needed from time to time, and the task will be of short duration. Removing obstacles, you might say. They'll contact you when your assistance is required. I'll think about it. Jade just told me there's been an outbreak on the 18th floor. I've got to get what little antis and I have back to the tower pronto. Do you have the antizen? Give it to me. So what happened? One person turned and had a couple of other people trapped. We could have sealed off that one apartment, but Brecken wanted to save as many lives as possible. It went bad. Somebody had to make the call. And now we've lost the entire floor, including, including a couple of kids. You'd better talk to Brecken. I have to get these meds to Lina. Always first to get to the drops.
This is where we get the announcements about the Anderson drops. And they've just stopped. They will catch us! I'm frozen. Lena had to step up. Maybe she should be in charge. What the fuck, Crane? I'm no leader. I'm a goddamn parkour instructor. Wait, so all the free running. Wait, that was you? Brecken, you showed these people how to survive. Do you know what my pockets were full of when I showed up in Haran? Fucking business cards. I was hoping to drum up some more students. Maybe get enough so I could save up and buy a house. Instead of that poxy little flat I've been renting. Listen. I'm gonna talk to Rice myself. Whoa, whoa, H hang on a minute. Reckon these people still need you. Okay, just, just give me some time, all right? There's, there's gotta be another way, a better way. Fine, I'll wait, but not for long. Finally, I get to do some actual good.